to my channel if you're new here if you're not new here what's good what's going on well not just gross but y'all know what i mean y'all know what i'm trying to say let's go ahead and pop this vlog off it's gonna be a weekend vlog today is friday the last vlog y'all saw was the a weekly vlog that i told y'all that i wasn't gonna do but i ended up doing it because i i felt like doing it so um i told y'all i was gonna go to the gym once i got off work did not happen um yeah, I just wasn't feeling it. I, I really was not feeling it when I got off right because, yeah, I just wasn't feeling it. There's no other, nothing else to say about it, okay? So, um, we came home. I did my wig cap already. I'm about to go ahead and pull this wig out. I just finished looking at what they wanted me to do. And they just want me to do an install video and a styling video. And that is good for me. But first, I really need to do my makeup. Ooh, excuse me but the real reason that i came on camera this early because I, I didn't plan on vlogging till probably like tonight because i'm supposed to be going out but anyways i came on here to say like today was like a real rocky day for me <laughs> like i just been having rocky days every other day it's like i just can't keep my my happiness like i don't know how to else to describe it other than that it's not like i'm just insanely miserable or anything like that it's just the fact of like i just really be thinking like what is going on right now in my life like everything is just all over the place so first and foremost y'all know i had like the little jail situation and i feel like that just trickled over into so many other things because y'all know i was looking for an apartment so i'm like okay how is this gonna affect that because you know like with certain apartments they do background checks and all of that and mind you like what i like my charge wasn't nothing crazy but it's still like girl some people don't want you to have no like kind of history or whatever but I, I haven't been convicted of anything you know what i'm saying because i'm innocent i really really am so like it's still the fact of like if they run a background check they could see like it's pending so i'm like oh my goodness so i really was not about to apply for an apartment like i wasn't i had just said if it like i had then gave up i had this was having moments like in the last vlog when y'all kept not the last one but the one before the last one when i just kept coming on camera like bro i'm just not feeling it like i was just so up and down about like that was the main thing i was up and down about or whatever so i ended up talking to my friends about it and they like bro just apply you know how many people out here like have like backgrounds and stuff that still get approved for stuff i'm just like i don't know how this shit works like this is not my life like i'm not a criminal so i decided to still apply and it took for everyone i said it was the most tedious tedious i feel like the devil was trying his hardest to just like try to take away my joy i swear like i kid y'all not i really need to be doing my makeup while i'm talking but um like every step along the way i was just having problems so um when i first did the application or whatever like the portal wasn't loading like it would not even let me log on to the portal and in my mind i'm like god am i just do i just need to wait to apply like i'm just saying like maybe i'm not supposed to apply right now maybe i'm not supposed to apply and then it finally started to work so i'll go through with it do the application put the application in pay my little funds that shit is so hard to um apply to apartments that shit is crazy to me how like what the prices is now but like they had like a deal if i was to apply within a certain time frame but i was in that time frame so i'm basically gonna get my money back but anyways pay my little one two or whatever and then after i submitted it like it was taking forever to load like it was scaring me almost and then it had gave me a message like pre-approved i'm like okay this is a good sign like this is a good sign then i started to like get in my head thinking about like what if this is only like the credit part what if they ain't do the, the background part like i'm just steady telling myself like oh my god they're gonna deny me because of this like like i don't know that's just that's what i'm telling myself i can't believe i'm telling y'all this because i wasn't even gonna give the spill on this <laughs> but i don't know i feel like i just i am who i am i be feeling how i feel and it's totally normal but anyways so I was pre-approved then i started getting like emails about like next steps and stuff like that but like they just are like it was like generated emails because i was confused i'm like why is they telling me to do all this stuff if i haven't been approved yet but it was just like generated emails that i kept getting and then um finally like a whole like they didn't call me till 
a couple days later like i'm just waiting and waiting i'm checking my email every hour on the hour waiting on some type of response and um they was just taking forever so i finally get a call and they like hey got your application we just need you to go onto this portal now they send me a whole new link and i had to upload all of my documents like my pay stubs and stuff so y'all when i tell y'all i'm having the roughest time with that like it my my stuff would not load like it was given like i was lying or something like it was given like i was stalling to give them my info whole time like it just was not loading into the system every time i would try to upload the documents it kept bouncing me back out of the website it just kept messing me up and then when i finally did submit it it was only half of my documents so it looked like i didn't read the damn instructions and include everything i needed to include so they ended up calling me back like hey we only got half of your stuff can you resubmit so i'm trying to resubmit could not resubmit like i could not log on into the portal i had to call the people to help me even after i did that i still was not able to upload my documents and y'all can only imagine how defeated i was like i was i was crying like i just was crying i'm just like why i'm like what is going on why is this happening to me y'all know me like i just hate for all type of stuff to be going on at one time i can only handle so much you know what i'm saying and i'm a crier when it comes to stuff like that it's so crazy because i don't cry about nothing else but when it comes to shit just not going right i be crying so i'm just crying steady crying i'm like what's going on like my life is falling apart like i'm really feel like my life falling apart like but i i keep praying though i can just keep praying because i'm like i gotta just keep praying about it so um the lady finally just say she like just send me your documents i'm gonna upload them so you should have did that from the beginning i keep telling you something wrong with this website oh i'm supposed to do my brows first i'm gonna do them next but i i had then kept telling her like something's wrong with the website like it kept bouncing me out of it but she asked me for my documents and she went ahead and submitted them herself. And she called me today and was like, um, she basically got everything uploaded. And now she's just waiting on her manager to give her like the approval stamp or whatever. Cause she the, I think she's the assistant manager. And I'm just like, okay. In my mind, I kind of felt like, you know, I had got approved everything. Cause like if I didn't, if my background check didn't go through, they would have just denied it off rip, right? Like, right. So in my mind though, I'm still like, what? what's the final approval? Like what they got to look at? I'm still beating myself up like scared. And then um, I literally got my welcome letter like an hour ago. Like, yeah. And it's so crazy because, like, I cried about that, too, because I feel like I'm not as happy as I should be. Like, I feel like this whole situation is kind of tainting my happiness. While I am extremely happy, I feel like I'm not as happy because I'm still worried about other stuff. But, like, I'm so thankful. Of course, I pray and, like, just thank God because it's been a long time coming. I have been wanting to move from over here literally ever since 2020 y'all it's 2024 i've been living over here forever after that first year of me living here i was ready to go but it just was not in the plans i guess so i just been here and i finally can just get the f on so now i just gotta go in and like you know sign my lease and all of that and we up out of here next month my lease ain't up till july but i just went ahead and signed for june i'm ready to go i'm ready to go so i'm gonna be on up out of here as soon as i could possibly be period i look so crazy right now if you're new here i don't, I don't even got no excuses girl i am who i am <laughs> if i look a mess right now oh well i'm gonna look a mess again probably later in the vlog but yes child like all of that to say like i finally got some good news like i literally was like god this is the light i needed in this in this moment like because it's just chaotic right now like things is just crazy and now I'm ready to go ahead and just pack it up now. I already started taking the wallpaper off the wall, but I been did that. I had started doing that last week. So I'm going to start, I'm going to really get this wallpaper off the wall in here and probably in the living room. I'm going to just start doing stuff day by day because it's, it's about to be time. I'm ready. I might run up out of here. Oh, and then I told y'all like, oh, I'm supposed to be going somewhere tonight, but I don't really know. Child, okay, so y'all know I've been going on dates or whatever. Who is it? Oh. Y'all know I've been going on dates or whatever. And, like, so far, so good. Me and the boy hung out. Damn, was that yesterday? No, that was the day before yesterday we hung out. And then, like, y'all know we've been going out, out, or whatever. But, like, yesterday we finally, like, had an outing where we didn't drink. And we just got to talk. 
And like he's really cool still, like you know, I you know, but sometimes like people be giving you red flags, and you just gotta pay attention. So like I'm not counting him out just yet, but like he ain't been giving me like after that after the convos we was having, you know how like just the way somebody think about certain stuff, you be like like for example, we was talking about I don't even know how we got on this topic. Like I, I really don't even know, but it was about basically like men and women and how they are so different. I swear when you have a conversation about men and women, she always go left, like no matter what. But he telling me how like men were born to create and um like basic oh, he asked me have I ever cheated? That's what it was. And I'm like, I mean, yeah, we all have. Like I was young as hell, but like we all have and he was like, Nah, women ain't supposed to do this, this I'm like I'm literally in my head like oh i know what this is about to go i know what this is about to go so he just talking he just, at this point i start to think you're real unintelligent once you start to tell me certain shit and that's just how it was for me like like i said he's still cool i go kind of out this shit sometimes you got to teach these niggas because they they be lost sometimes but yeah i don't know i ain't um really been texting like that today i ain't um been talk actually and talk to him all day for real for real so i don't even know if he called me and be like you still want to go i'm gonna go if not we ain't going nowhere i think he kind of felt my vibes too because i've been a little like Meh. i hate that i did my brows second because they're not coming out how i wanted to and it's like i can't go in there like wipe around them because i got the makeup on how they look i feel like my foundation always looks crazy i know y'all gotta let fenty um exercise <clears throat> but I had wanted to say something else too. Dang, I really didn't forgot. <laughs> Overall, all in all, I just had to give the good news because I feel like I just been down. I've been in a funk. Hopefully, I don't cry no more. I don't want to. I just don't. I just can't. Oh, I told you about the washing machine that got that's that that fixed itself. I don't know what happened. God fixed it with, after I prayed. <laughs> got the ten k shoot schedule. Got to do that tomorrow. I need to make sure I got every, all my ducks in a row because I got to go get them balloons blow back up. Camo told me that I could basically go... I'm going to come back to the brows. Camo told me I could basically go anywhere that blow up balloons and they'll blow blow them back up. They just going to charge me for it, of course. So I got to see where I'm going to go. I'm going to try to go to like Dollar Tree or something. Or I could go to Kroger right here in Atlantic Station. But I'm, I'm going to have to get up early. My shoot is at 10 o'clock in the morning. So I really need, I really want to do my makeup as soon as I wake up. So I'm about to do my makeup at home. Tati was telling me, ooh, that's too much. Tati was telling me she think I should like get ready at the thing so I could do like a get ready with me. But I don't know me. I'm the type of person I need to get ready at home because I'm always forgetting something or something just don't be tens across the board. So I just need to make sure I'm going to be prepared. So I might have to get my hair and um my makeup done while i'm at home and then i'll just get dressed there and then after that we going to a mimosa festival or whatever so this should be another great weekend the next the next couple of weekends should be great we about to be approaching fun girl summer i started planning a little bit just a little bit um but we got some good stuff in store i'm excited like i'm finally just feeling happy like that's like, I just feel happy today because that's what I needed. Like, I don't know. I keep saying that, but y'all, like, y'all do not understand. I don't probably cry every single day, even though I be saying I'm not going to cry today. Like, mm -mm. I didn't cry every single day because, like, what's going on in life right now? But y'all already know I take 3,000 years to do my makeup when I be talking. So let me go ahead and finish so I can get this wig color about the way and then figure out what I'm going to do. Because if I don't go out on a date tonight, I think I still want to go somewhere just to kind of, like... I don't know, I guess celebrate. Shit, this is the celebration too. This is the biggest celebration of the year. This is my biggest goal of the year that I have accomplished. Like, we gotta go, we gotta do something. I don't know. So we'll see. I'm gonna just come in. Let me hurry up. And we're done. And we're done. Y'all, I actually meant to put this wig way further down than I have it because you can see, y'all see the baby has, you know, you know what I'm saying? But shit, I should have bought it down a little bit more anyway because my hair is big as hell. I should have bought it down like right. <laughs> but it'll do, child. It's working. I don't feel crazy like I was last week. Y'all know last week I wasn't feeling my hair. But you know, like it's cute. You know, I love me a little. I love me some long hair. This is some body wave. This is um Gita. 
Give that hair. I like this one. Y'all did that. Yeah, Y'all did that with this little hair. I'm going to curl it up tomorrow or whatever. But I think I'm literally going to wear it like this today. Um, As far as my plans go, y'all, it's been a net flying around for the past 30 minutes. And I can't kill it. But, um, oh, as far as my plans for the night, I ended up texting Ebony because I didn't feel like waiting on the boy to write me or whatever. So I wanted to just go ahead and make my own plans. But Ebony's taking her hair down tonight. So I was like, uh... And it's so crazy, I swear. He literally texted me like 10 minutes after I asked Ebony and Ebony told me she couldn't come. So I was like, I, I guess I'm going out with him because I'm outside. I want to do something. And I'm cute. Y'all know I don't like to waste a good hair makeup moment. I mean, I need to do my bottom lashes. But, um, yeah, that's my vibe right now. He just asked me where I want to go, but I don't know. I really don't know. I had suggested the belt line earlier this week, but it's rain. Well, it was raining. It ain't raining no more, but it's wet out there. So it's like, what did I say earlier? Didn't I say bowling? Did I say bowling? I could use a little hook. I said I went drinking today. That's what I said. But it's, it's just a call for a celebration. You know, it's a call. I ain't going to get drunk, but I might have a drink. I have some champagne in the refrigerator. Y'all, that champagne been in there for months months but i looked it up and said don't get old unless it's open so i might drink a little bit of that i might add a little bit of that i need to shower because i didn't shower when i left work i decided to go ahead and hop right into my hair so i'm gonna shower get a little cute put some clothes on oh i signed my lease if i didn't tell y'all so like Ew. now i've been over here thinking about what i need to buy i'm like i need a new drink y'all wait why is it that like it's, it's do the universe know like it's just time for me to leave first it was the washing machine why the dress up broke y'all one of the drawers is broke like i can't even fix it if i wanted to and i don't even know how it broke i literally just opened a drawer yesterday and it just is broke so i plan on getting a new dresser anyways because i want to get this black up out of my room like my dresser black my vanity black i'm getting this black up out of here i want all things light all things light. So I'm going with whites and browns and nudes. That's my next one. Like, browns is not light, but it's lighter than this black. Like, this black gotta go. These curtains gotta go. I want sheer curtains. I don't even care. If it, if the sun wake me up in the morning, so be it. Like, the blackout curtains is done for me. I don't want nothing, no darkness in my life. Like, I've already made that decision. I am gonna keep the black stuff in my living room, but the black is not overpowering in the living room. Y'all know the living room is giving more gray white vibe so i'm gonna just keep that but the room i'm switching up my whole room i might switch up the bathroom but then again i like the fact that the bathroom is black because it just gives more of a clean look we'll figure that out once the time comes of course and then i think one of y'all asked me did i make a registry so um i need to go ahead and get started on that because i made a registry but i never like actually added stuff to it so i need to do that i don't even know what i would want to put on there though because i'm not I guess I could put just like some small stuff and clean and stuff like stuff like that. So I need to actually go through. I'm gonna go look on um, TikTok and see like more videos. Cause one of y'all say y'all was looking at videos of like what people need when they moving. Cause I haven't moved in five years for real, like for real, for real. So I don't even know what I would need. I'm pretty sure a lot. And then I got all hardwood flows, so I'm really gonna have to like mop and stuff. And then um, yeah. I don't know. I'm just over here, just mine all over the place. Oh, happiest day I've had in a long time. I'm just basking in the ambience. <laughs> That's been stuck in my head too. Because I've been watching white chicks. And that shit is so funny bro. It would never get old. But let me go ahead and shower. It's already 6.45 child. i just been over here vibing. You know. Having me a little concert as the usual. But. I don't know what the freak to put on, y'all. Like, I keep changing my mind. I have on this cute little skirt and top. And I wanted to wear my Chanel sneakers with it. It's so crazy. I said I was going to be wearing them shoes every day. I ain't worn them not one time. Because I just can't. I don't I don't know. Like, I just can't find nothing to really wear with it that I think is cute. And I also think it's like, what purse do I wear with them? So, uh, like, this is cute. But I um said that. Oh, girl, I'm out of here. Hold on. But I had said that I wanted to either go to an escape room or bowling. He was like, we can do both. So I'm like, this is really not giving that. Like, I need to go ahead and dress like a little boy one more time. Because 
I don't want to be bowling and in the escape room in this. I feel like you had to be doing all of, you know. So, I'm struggling. And this is always the part that I struggle with getting ready. Oh, but another reason that I came in, because I had one to talk to y'all real quick. So, this weird little situation just happened. So, y'all, why? Okay, so remember my birthday photo shoot. I was trying to find somebody. I was having the toughest time finding somebody to take my pictures, right? So, it's this boy that I know. Like, went to school. We know him. We not like, cool, cool, but I know him. He know me. So, he takes really good pictures, and I've seen him do something similar, but he didn't do, like, exactly what I was asking for, but I went out the way to still see if he could do it. So, we had a conversation back and forth, and then, like, I finally get down to asking him, like, okay, how do I book? And he straight up ghosted me. And y'all already know, like, I was already stressing about, like, how I was going to get it done in a, in a decent amount of time. So, he basically ghosted me. I ended up finding somebody else, which was a 10 out of 10. I'm so happy that I ended up finding a boy. But, y'all, why did this man write me today and was like, hey, um, I hope all is well. Sorry, um, I left you hanging. I've been on and off Instagram. Basically trying to, like, give me a little boohoo story, like okay and honestly like you could be telling the truth but you're lying because i didn't see you post like i've seen i've seen you post you know what i'm saying so i'm like next part of the message says i see you be working with fashion nova let me know if you want to collab and do this this and this fuck no because first of all i could see like if you left me hanging and then you realize you left me hanging was like damn bro my bad because we know each other y'all it's not like i don't know him so he could have simply been like damn my bad whenever he got back on instagram you could have been like my bad no you see me post a fashion over video now you want to collab i'm not doing no fucking collabs i know how to wreck this camera just fine and i might be doing the most but that really annoyed the shit out of me because you have no fucking shame you you gonna sit here and ask to work with me after you left me on fucking red for my birthday pictures like be be fucking for real and i almost started to respond but i just left him on red because i was just like that's so weird to me that's so crazy to me like bring back shame i'm never gonna be asking somebody to basically do something for me after i ain't come through for them in the first place or at least apologize for not coming through like nah nah i'm good on that but I just had to get that off my chest because that really made me feel away. And, like, I'm such a cool person, but, like, what? Was that not, like, crazy or something? Like, I would end up fixing my lips to ask somebody for something and I didn't come through for them. I don't know. That's just me, though. That's just me. <sighs> Anyways, I'm over here trying to figure this out. I always got to wear black or white, too. Like, I'm, I ain't wear this shirt in a long time. But I don't got no shoes to go with this. It's a little cute muscle shirt. I've been wanting to wear this, but I don't know what the wet is with. What did it say? Honey, honey, oh, bear. I might say honey bay. Oh, I forgot I had this. This is cute. I don't want to wear nothing too. Like, I need to wear something I can move around in. It's giving cargoes, child. All right, bookies, we're ready. I don't know how I feel about the fit, but this is her. I never do like a a double, I don't even know what to call it. I, if I if I wear a crop top, I always wear jeans. And if I wear shorts, I always wear a full shirt. I never ever do crop and shorts because it be making me feel a little naked. But I think it'll do, I got on my blue and white, I mean blue and black ones with a little white trim. That's why I added the white purse. The shirt don't really match for real, for real, but it match. And then these shorts keep going up in the cat. But this is the look. And then I added the glasses just because it got like a black on it. I don't know if I'm wearing glasses. I feel like this extra. I don't know. I, I feel a little naked. Like, I think I need to put on some jeans. This this escape room is not going well whatsoever. We just got to be the two slowest people ever. See, I already didn't do my makeup without y'all. My ass woke up a little bit behind time, 
but so far so good it's 9 18 i look he just puts the shoot back to 10 30 because i still gotta go get them damn balloons blowed up okay the boy just said that's cool let me tell tati 10 30 and then um i'm about to go ahead and just put these rollers in my head now y'all know i said i was gonna do that when i got there but I ain't got time just because I know how picky I am. And if that shit don't look right when I get them, I might cry. So, I'm about to go ahead and try to just put them in now. Bro, one thing about me, I am going to be running behind. I am just not getting the Kroger, y'all. It's about to be 10.30 now. My rollers is falling out and everything. It's just crazy. Oh, shit. You look nice. Thank you. What's the occasion? Um, celebrating making 10K on my YouTube channel. <laughs> So behind, I'm all over the place. Yeah, so you're an influencer, huh? Yeah, basically. All right. Thank you, though. Right. Oh, we. All right. We're here. My roller is falling out, y'all, as we speak. She's falling out. I really hope these people blow these balloons up, child, because I'm just listening to K-Mo. Hopefully, they don't try to make me buy no more. Where's the balloon station? Right. Tell me. What about the balloons? There's balloons right here in the front, but I don't. Where's the balloons, honey? Oh Lord, where do I go? Let me see. Oh, I don't know. I'm guessing up here. Got to be. They got all the balloons up here. Let me ask somebody because I don't got time to be looking around. Hey, where y'all blow up balloons at? This oh. You said where? Over there, but if nobody's there, you gotta yes. get somebody over there. So you have to call somebody over there. Yeah, okay. Okay, what? I was about to say, like, do I call them? <laughs> hey, I was needing to get these balloons blowed up again. I believe I'm running this far behind. I'm gonna have to fix my hair when I get there. This is crazy. But, um, child, I'm just vlogging at this point. I don't even care. Okay, guys, we're here. It's so nice. Yeah. Yeah, I wanted to give, like, get ready with the vibes. And then Tati, you can say what your vision is. She's she's kind of my um, creative director. <laughs> oh Lord, the tape came off. We had a bumpy ride. Huh? We had a bumpy ride. No, when I say everything was just going crazy, I'm like, oh my God. We in the lab. Let me get it. Let me get crunk. Okay, I, you're gonna you, have to do it as tight as it can go because it's loose as hell in the front. Who, Jesus. What? Are you serious? Okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. You're I'm supposed to be honest. creative directing. I know. I'm just playing. I, I mean, know. low key. Oh, it's gonna be tight. It's okay. Fine. You just gotta. Because I need the. You know, I ain't got too much chest now. I gotta make it look like something. Yeah, you gotta start. Oh, I need to put my lotion on. I'm gonna really, really tight from the bottom. I guess a messy look isn't bad. Cause it gets really and get ready with your world. Yeah, so. get ready with your world. Dang, I should have my speaker with. Ain't right? Yeah, my speaker. Ain't that it? Right there. Oh, okay. Oh, look where my phone is. Cause let me feel like that way with you. I was like, do these work for the decoration? And it came on. I said, oh. Period. Okay then. That's cute. Right. So I think this is extra small. So I'm really? glad I didn't get the small. Right. Go ahead and put creative director. Corset center. Hold up, I might can't breathe. <laughs> no. No way. No. Okay, I'm trying to think. Should I even? Huh? I thought that was some glass. I did too. You um, think I need to put these on? Mm -hmm. Let's see both for a second. Like, let's start without. Without? Yeah. Let me, um, I feel like without. I feel like I didn't really show y'all the space though. So. This is why I book so like they have a vanity area and that's really where my vibe was. But they have this area as well, which is super freaking cute. It's like I don't even know. Oh, this mirror so big. I need a mirror like this. Look, I need to pull this up. The genius idiot. I love it, man. These days, I'm letting God handle all things above me. The 
Things I can't change are the reason you love me. Listen, you can hear them calling my name. I'm all over the place. I can't sit in one place. I'm not ashamed at all. Still finding myself, let alone a soulmate. I'm just saying. Feel like we one and the same. Our relationship changed. Scatter it never existed. Whenever they say something about us, you listen. But fuck what they talking about on your timeline. Every time I get in this car, they plan to um Kendrick this. I mean Drake this. All right, girl, I'm typing in the mall name into the music app. We're going to Peru. I need to put my rubber bands in. As y'all can see, I be thinking about a thousand things at one time, trying to do a thousand things at one time. Anyways, I just came back to give you guys an update on this shoot. It was like such a good experience. And everything came out so freaking good. Um, Y'all know I just be nervous. Like, I always be having, like, a vision in my head. And I just be like, is this going to, like, come out right? But I think the, the girls is going to see the vision. And he was such, like, a good photographer. He literally just let me take my time and do what I wanted to do. He was like, you want to get a little video here or there? You know, like, it was just a vibe. Then we had turned on the music. The space was really nice. Um, if if I remember, I'll tag the peer space down below. Um, Y'all should book with them. They are very strict. I will say that though. They was like, it was like rules on like moving the furniture around and stuff. But like, I guess not too strict because you don't want people messing your stuff up. We still ended up moving some stuff around or whatever. But it was a it was a vibe. It was a nice little time. I had my uh creator director Tati. She went playing. She was getting. I hate when it's called due date. Um. She was getting me right, telling me what to do, how to do it. It was just a good experience overall. I'm looking for my grapes that I had earlier, cause I'm hungry. I had a lunch table in here too. Look at my hair. I'm ready to take this wig off already. This lace is lacing. I'm a vlog at the festival. That's probably gonna be a cute little montage as well. Cause y'all already know it's gonna be music, loud people, like we gon' you know it's gonna be a vibe. I'm hanging out with a lot of my line sisters today. This is the first time like we all gotten together in a minute. So let's get the good times rolling. Y'all, so Joe Biden is in town and they have literally every highway blocked off. When I tell you I'm stuck in Atlanta and I'm so blown because like Tati left right before me and she they like they let her go and then the police literally blocked off all the hot like every entrance to the highway is blocked off joe you need to go back wherever you came from what is you in atlanta for because you picked the wrong day like come on now joe like i literally been circling around the city for 20 minutes because i just can't get on the interstate like come on i'm just trying to go like have a time and everybody keep asking the police like why y'all <laughs> like i saw this one lady why y'all got all the things blocked off he said ma'am just keep pushing just keep pushing like it's so aggravating y'all i kid y'all not like it's not one entrance Wally, let me vlog since somebody oh, talk about what, what the vlog is <laughs> I, I, we in the I black truck check your email I I don't don't know. Know. Yeah, yeah, to your wallet now. But then again, he said that like there was a lie. Like it's a rumor online that they closing when they really not. Because why would they do that? So girl, I'm tired. Oh my goodness, where's the tripod at y'all? Like it's 10 30 at night. I'm supposed to be at Ebony House as we speak. Okay. Girl. Today's been a long week. Girl, I've been out since last night. Today just been long. Let me 
Actually, I'm gonna come back because I need to shower and hurry up and I'm gonna talk to y'all while I'm getting ready. I'm not sure what's going on with me in my closet right now, but I literally hate every piece of clothing that I have. And like, ugh. Like, this is what I have on right now. I have on this Air Hardy. Oh, Air Hardy? Air Hardy shirt with the Air Hardy. Girl, what these is? Sweatpants. But I don't like it. I think the shirt, I don't know. The shirt ain't fitting how I want it to, so I feel like it look like I'm just really chilling because the sweatpants are really giving chill. Child, I'm using this little Fenty blotching powder that I bought I don't know how long ago because my face is so like early looking and like I don't feel like touching my makeup up for real so like this is just gonna have to do like it's already late at night like yeah but anyways child let me just let's start at last night okay so yesterday y'all know we went to the escape room the escape room was so freaking fun like it was a 10 out of 10 like I have to go back soon I haven't done an escape room in a long time but that one was fun like the first one that I went to a long time ago I didn't really like it but that one was fun um then we went to bolero which is the bowling alley in atlantic station and we was literally there until they closed at damn two o'clock so i was tired as fuck when i got home i got my ass in the bed and went to sleep because i'm like i gotta get up early as fuck to get ready for this photo shoot so that's when y'all saw this morning oh my god come on now y'all saw me getting ready this morning child dad was all over the place the rollers was like kicking my butt i almost didn't even want to do the look no more because i couldn't get the rollers to look right like even in my pictures that some of them was just a little bit off and i'm really like a perfectionist so like if they all didn't look the same i wasn't liking it so it was just like that then i had to go get the balloons blowed up that took me forever but luckily the man at public just blowed them up for me for free oh fyi if y'all did not know you can go and get your balloons blowed up again like the helium balloons like the the fur looking ones you can go and get those blowed back up if they like you know, not if they got like a hole in in them or something, but like if they've been like deflating over time, you can go back and get them blowed up. So did that. Struggled to get them balloons in the car, but then we finally made it to the shoot, and everything went really, really well. He even got the pictures back to me today, so I'm like, okay, cool. These is cute. They look really, really good. So he is gonna edit some, but honestly, like they really don't even need no edits because I look, he wanted to post them tomorrow. Like, girl, we are already behind. But um, that. And then after that, we went straight to the Mimosa Festival, and that was a vibe. We had fun, and then after that, we went to Chili's and ate and talked. Like, we had, like, a really good time. I came back home knocked out. Like, when I tell y'all, my plan was to not even go to sleep because we got back home at, like, 7.30, and we was like, we're going to meet back up at 10.30. So I'm like, I ain't trying to go to bed. I'm drinking pre-workout. Oh, my God. Um... So, yeah, I didn't even plan on going back to sleep, but child, the sleep took over. So, I took my behind to sleep, and I just woke up rushing to get ready. And, um, luckily, they pushed the party back because the party was supposed to start at 10, but it really started at 11. So, now I'm, like, basically on time, and I'm about to leave the house now. Oh, my God, I feel like I just had a whole mouthful, like... <laughs> But that is what is going on right now. But I'm just not feeling what I got on. Like, I feel like I look crazy. I'm making me a cart in the morning. Like, I'm... Um, as soon as I wake up, I need new clothes. Or I need shoes. Because the problem is, like, I be having, sh like, clothes, but I don't have shoes to match it. Or I have a cute item of clothing that doesn't match literally anything else. <sighs> and, like, the outfit I got on now is decent. It's just not what I had in mind. I don't know. Excuse my house too like y'all know the drill i don't even gotta say excuse me because this is my shit but still okay i gotta go what if i said the i was outside go. honey yeah. we about to go to this whole little party like <laughs> i was about to say what the fuck but um i never seen a man run it's pink. so packed out here i haven't even been to an event like this and i don't know how long you so ever seen a man run let's see if we even get in it smell like nothing but weed over here. Nothing but. Baby. You ever smell? You ever seen a man around the pink cow? Nothing but. <laughs> That's what. Yeah. <laughs> what you gonna say? Bro, in the white line, babe. This is insane. This is fucking insane. Good morning, gang. Your girl is up. I didn't wake up until 12 something. Um, I didn't get home again until late again last night. Um, we got home at maybe like 3.30. Yeah, like 3.30. Definitely like 
I woke up with a headache and I'm wondering why because I haven't had nothing to drink since like way earlier in the day, like three or four, because I decided not to drink last night. I just was not, I couldn't, I don't know, like I did. The alcohol intake has been a bit too much lately. <laughs> no ma'am, so I said no to that. And then, um, yeah, I don't know what's, what happened. Like I had to take me a goodie party when I woke up. Oh, I'm about to mess this up so bad. Like, so freaking bad. I really gonna put the tender in a microwave. For real. For real. But as y'all can see, last night we went to... It's so crazy because I don't think we realized where we was going. Because it was just giving like... I don't know how I don't know how else to say like it was just giving like big ass house party like it was just so many people I haven't been to a party like that in I don't know how long it was crazy but it was a good time like y'all know me and my anxiety I'm not gonna lie the whole time I kept having to tell myself to like not think that something was gonna go wrong because I just I don't know me and big crowds I just always feel like especially crowds of black people because y'all just know somebody got to fight somebody got to do something so I just be on high alert at all times. But I was having a really good time. They was playing some good music. Like, it, the vibes was just there. If I was drinking, we would have been drinking because we knew somebody who was there. And they had a section. Child, they just kept sending about an hour away. And we just like, I'm like, no, I can't. I can't. But um, some of everybody else was taking shots. It was a good little night, though. It was so fun. It was such a fun day. It's always like... I don't know how, what, I, what this adjective do I want to use? I'm about to say nostalgic, but I don't want to really say that. But it's always a good time when you get to hang out with your friends that you don't really hang out on a regular basis, especially like a big group of us, because it just, the night just gets more and more interesting as time goes on. That shit, it was just so funny. Like, it was such a funny day. And that just made me think I got to text a group chat. <laughs> but as far as today goes, I really need to, like, straighten up. Once I'm done with that, I honestly need to edit and stuff i think i'm gonna just watch church later on today or in the morning um just because like i want to you know pay attention and i know like when i'm in the mood to like really really listen or if i'm gonna just have it on this background and i don't want to do that i want to actually watch it so that's gonna have to be later or in the morning um oh i need to make my fashion over card that's what i need to do so I'm going to go ahead and get that done today too because I actually like need to get on that because I'm hoping that they could go ahead and send me my clothes this week. Usually it'd be fastest. Like if I go ahead and send them, send in my proposal today, I should get my clothes by Tuesday and then that'd be good for my trip. And like I actually need some clothes because y'all not been tussling with my closet. I need to order me some shoes. Like that's the problem. I think that was too long. I need some, I need some shoes. Some like girly shoes that's not tennis shoes that I can wear that's not heels. Cause I really don't plan on wearing heels too much this summer. I'm trying to treat us bad. Oh, I low-key got a hair collab to do. And I might need to go ahead and do that because y'all, I'm like, I got six weeks. How we go from zero to six? I was doing so good. <laughs> It's like everybody emailed me at once though, and it's like I ain't missing up on my collabs. I gotta get this money on. We got ish to do. We gotta move, girl. Like that. We got stuff to do. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Like, oh my goodness. I hope my move has been so well. It has been so much better in this video because I know the past two. It, I, my my emotions be real up and down, and like all I could do is just be my myself and be honest. Like I can't even get on the camera and pretend. Like, cause y'all know how people be like, oh, I don't wanna give bad energy like i never just feel like i give bad energy i just give what i'm feeling like you know so i just be like let me i'm just gonna be me like this is my outlet like this is low-key my diary so i just be you know i just be talking and tell y'all how i be feeling but i was like really happy this whole vlog mm-hmm that's what i'm talking about and the people actually say that it's not closing. They need to stop spreading rumors. Okay. Yeah, I have legit been in the bed all day. Like, clearly, I've been in the bed all day long. The only thing that I've gotten accomplished today, well, I got a few things accomplished. I edited a YouTube video, of course, which takes a couple couple of hours if you do it all in one setting. So that took a good bit of time. After that, I submitted my Fashion Nova proposal. And that's it. I mean, but both of those things took me a minute because I had to 
take hours to edit and then when fashion over scrolling forever this was just like last time with me trying to put some clothes together for a haul like i couldn't find anything and i don't know what's going on it's like they have so much cute stuff but at the same time they don't and then the cute stuff that i do find they don't have it in my size so now it'd it be back to the drawing board and like now i be trying to shop like outfits instead of like just pieces because i realized i don't be having nothing to wear because nothing matches so that was my goal with this um cart and i don't know how successful i'm going because i had to just start adding stuff at, at, at the end so we'll see how that goes but anyways i'm over here making me a, a turkey burger i really was about to eat like a hot pocket or something but i'm like no let me eat this meat because like it's gonna go bad if i don't just go ahead and eat it so that's gonna be my dinner for tonight. I got one more burger left, which I might make myself eat tomorrow because I'm really not in the wasting food right now. So yeah. Well, while this is cooking, I just kind of wanted to chat with y'all before I ended the vlog because I realized that I've never come back in. I hope this is not too loud. This is me. Hopefully not. I'm gonna talk up. But I just wanted to talk to y'all about 10K because I feel like I haven't. Like, I talked about it, but I didn't talk about it. And how it, like, made me feel. Like, first and foremost, like, thank y'all again. For real. Literally, thank y'all. I know people still congratulating me. I'm still trying to, like, answer all the comments. That's how many it was. It's just so overwhelming. But in a good way. I feel really blessed and thankful to have literally each and every one of y'all, like, subscribe to my channel. I learned a lot from y'all. And know y'all be telling y'all y'all learned from me. Like, yesterday, one of y'all commented on my, like, my dump page and was like basically like y'all was older than me but y'all learned from me and like i really be learning from y'all when y'all give me advice in the comments nothing goes unnoticed whenever y'all tell me to do something or suggest stuff like i really be doing it and like a lot of stuff be you know working out for you girls so i appreciate y'all y'all definitely kept me lifted up with you know the situation that's going on right now and i really am thankful for that because like i said y'all be so in and out like one moment i'm sad and it's not, it's so crazy because it's not even the situation that be making me feel away. It's the fact that I was the one who, like, got in trouble for it when I was innocent. Like, that's the thing that made me mad. It's not even the situation at hand. So, like, y'all giving me encouraging words, like, really means a lot. Because it just hit different when people you don't know actually care about you. Like, it's just, it's so, like, the words came me. I can't come up with the words for it, but, like, I'm really thankful to have y'all. And I used to think of like 10K being something light. And it's it's not. It's really not light. Especially when I have interactive people. Like y'all don't follow me just to see what I look like. Y'all y'all don't even barely watch the hauls no more. And that's what everybody was coming here for. Like I could tell y'all are actually watching the vlog more. Like because like y'all y'all want to see me and what I be doing more than me just like giving to y'all like a haul or something. So I appreciate that. I really love vlogging. Like, it's one of those things It's like, I thought I would, I don't know, I kind of thought I would regret vlogging because, like, I'm letting all these people into my life. I'm really on here just saying how I feel. Like, I don't even tell the people in my life for real how I be feeling about stuff. But, like, I get on here and I'm able to just be myself and y'all be accepting me. Like, even if something embarrassing, like, I'll just, you know, it's always somebody out there that can relate to you. So, I feel like, yeah, I'm really, I'm really happy. I'm really thankful. Dang, I done bought the fries and then ain't ate the fries not one time. I know I don't be eating fries like that. I don't even know why I bought them. I was just hungry and stuff. <laughs> That's cute. Uh, the boy just takes me, the boy that I been going on this week. He just takes me and was like, I got a day idea. And I was like, what? And he going to send the drive through safari zoo? That's not on my bucket list. Not on my bucket list at all. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> cute idea but i don't know how to put about that okay i'm about to go ahead and end the vlog because i'm about to eat finish uploading i have to clean up tonight i always gotta clean up always i gotta get me a cleaning service or something if y'all stuck around this far in the vlog go ahead and comment down below a house comment down below a house because we is moving we is up out of here period if y'all watch the whole video of course thank y'all so much like comment and subscribe share the video i am so happy just for these new beginnings because the next couple of vlogs should be really good we're going out of town next week so we got a lot of good stuff coming so subscribe if you are not already go back and watch some old videos and i'm gonna catch y'all on the next what 
on the next vlogster. Bye!